Salute to everybody, man. Much respect, man. Y'all already know it's your boy Coach tapping in. I tell you every day, boy, that dirt is a blessing no matter what. Stop all that stress. Say, man, listen, listen. College football is just crazy right now. I'm not even going to call it college football. Let's call it money ball. Let's call it goddamn on minor, goddamn on NFL league. You see what I'm saying? The minor league for NFL. Man, reports just came out that Colorado has finally, has finally, after months of speculation, because see, this has been months of speculation, has finally said, yes, we are leaving the Pac-12 and going back home to the Big 12. See what I'm saying? You know, if you follow college football, you're a fan of college football. And I ain't talking about the last couple of years. I'm talking about deep-rooted college football. And you remember the last time Colorado was good like that was a dominant program like that. I'm talking about go to bowl games religiously, all types of shit, was when they was winning the Big 12. And before that, the Big 8. Ever since they left the Big 12, they've been boom, 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 suck. Now, when you make a flashy, splashy, big time hire like with Coach Prime, Coach Prime gonna bring you all the 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 the, the entertainment value, all the 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 as I want to say the the hmm, how can I say? It? Let's just say all of the publicity. That everything that you need for the school, right? So they're thinking about money. The Pac-12 just just re up They got they gone uh their a media rights deal, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this: that media rights deal was sucked. <laughs> like, <laughs> like listen, bro. I just watched the details. Of, I mean, I just looked at them, read up the details of their media rights deal, bro. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> While Alabama, Texas, Oklahoma, Michigan, Ohio State, USC, Oregon, those schools like that, when they playing next year, when they're going to be playing on Saturdays and Thursdays on ESPN, you know what I'm saying, all them type Fox, all them, just, them programs, them networks and stuff like that. Man, the Pac-12, you're going to have to go, go to CW. You're going to have to go to the CW network to watch an Oregon versus Utah game. Bro, that's like, what the fuck? So, Colorado was like, look here, bro. We're not finna go make no $12 million over here with this damn media rights deal. We finna take our talents. <laughs> take my Deion Sanders. <laughs> we finna go to the Big 12. We finna win more money. We finna get them way more money. See, it's about that money. It's about that bag. Just think about it like this. You go from each school making, let's just throw out the $20 million, right? $20 million per, per year for each conference for the media rights. Flip that, and I can go over here and make 50 for my school. Bro, I'm done, and I'm hollering the fuck ass. <laughs> and see, now, like, this the last year of Texas and Oklahoma in the Big 12. This is the last year of uh, USC and UCLA in the Pac-12. So, man, the college landscape is just getting, like, real deal crazy. Can you, in, in a couple of years, I'm going to tell you how I did. In a couple of years, you're going to have the SEC, the ACC, the Big 12, and the Big 10. And everybody else. <laughs> so, like, if you go to the to schools and play football for the likes of uh, South Alabama, Troy, UAB, <laughs> uh, Texas, uh, um, um, not Texas, yeah, this is say Texas State, you know what I'm saying, University of Texas, San Antonio, just things like that, schools like South Florida, you know what I'm saying, schools like that, bro, you have no shot. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, in a couple years, it's going to be like that. And see, the rich is getting richer because now, just think about this. The next SEC media deal, bro. When you add a Texas and local Oklahoma to that right there. <laughs> Money. Bro, you, all them schools going to get like $75 million per year so they got going to be in the SEC. <laughs> that just that's the type of some monies that Colorado was thinking about. That's the types of monies that a lot of these schools are thinking about now. Now, say this. Sometimes moves to another program, to another conference be great. Sometimes it don't. Nebraska. <laughs> Texas A and M. <laughs> Things like that. See what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta hope for the best. <laughs> And as a college football fan, I'm actually happy, bro. I'm, like, deeply happy that these people are aligning themselves 
to where, hey, if you're going to be the best, you got to beat the best. Texas, Oklahoma, they like, hey, man, I'm over here struggling with these people. Like, I'm sharing money with these sorry-ass motherfuckers. I'm going to go over here and share money with these people and play against the best. <laughs> Ain't got to worry about playing against some slop every fucking Saturday. Nope, I'm sorry, because we do have Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, roll motherfucking tired, man. I just wanted to bring that out there. Also, man, other college news, man. You got Minnesota. Man, reports come out that they coach, man, and they, they, they got players coming back talking about, man, we were treated wrong. You got uh the University of Michigan and Jim Harbaugh getting suspended, man, for the first four games of the season for recruiting violations. Bro, that man couldn't even give a, a, a kid a cheeseburger. <laughs> Now, see, that's one thing I'm glad I'm so happy about these NIL deals and stuff like that now to where a lot of these recruiting violations that them schools was getting in trouble about, Tennessee, you know what I'm saying, all that type of stuff, but that's non-existent no more. We are finna have the last days of programs getting banned and banished and bowl game bans and all that shit because of illegal benefits to recruits and stuff. That's finna stop. See what I'm saying? So you ain't got to worry about that. Thank God Alabama got that on his cool with this. <laughs> Woo! We ain't back in the past no more. We can play these play. We can pay your ass to come to Alabama now. You can pay your boy to go to Texas. You can pay that boy to go to Ohio State. All them schools like that. You can do those type of things now. But like I said, man, more of the story is college football landscape has changed. It is not the same from when your daddy was watching college football. It ain't the same from when I was growing up watching college football. No, 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 no. Starting year 2024, bro, that shit finna be wide open, wild as fuck. So listen, it's the last year, man, of some of y'all traditional, you know what I'm saying, schools that play against each other, you know, them, them rivalries where they win whatever kind of goddamn on trophy, you know, like in Alabama, we got the Iron Bowl, you know what I'm saying, they got the Red River rivalry, just things like that, you know what I'm saying. This might be the last year of a lot of those historical rivalry games because... Hey man, in the year or two, bro, you gonna have to end that shit off. Yeah, I ain't gonna look like George ain't gonna be playing Georgia Tech no more, even though that ain't a rivalry, it's just a game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> South Carolina and Clemson ain't gonna be playing no more type shit. <laughs> you might never see a Florida and Florida State type shit no more, less than just some out of schedule first uh, uh, year games. See what I'm saying? Them big time games like that. But we might not even see them no more because hell, everybody gonna be in the conference now. <laughs> but anyway, man. Enough of that, man. Like I say, man, Minnesota, y'all in trouble. God dang on y'all finna get the Northwestern. You know what I'm saying? Michigan in trouble, bro. What is wrong with the Big Ten? <laughs> you got Northwestern fucked up. <laughs> now you got Michigan fucked up. Now you got no, uh, Minnesota fucked up. Bro, the Big Ten is wilding the fuck out. <laughs> I'm silly, man, so I like to laugh anyway. And I hope you laughing with my little ugly glad. But anyway, man, that was just my, my, my college football updates. Now, to the NFL. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Bro, everybody falling now. But did y'all see Joey Burrow, man? Joe Burrow got hurt today. He's a pull calf, man, so hopefully he'll be ready for the season. Shit, your boy got dang on cornerback. Um, what's his name? Got hurt. He got carted off the field with a knee injury. Your boy, uh, dang, I can't think of this. It's right on the tip of my tongue right now. Boy, oh, man, I fucked up on that one. But anyway, man, y'all know who it is, man. Boy got hurt. He got hurt. See what I'm saying? And free running backs. Let me say that again. Hashtag free running backs. Anyway. That was just my, my little college football rant, my little football rant. I'm trying to get my little, my mojo going. You see what I'm saying? Practice just started, bro. And let me tell you, let me show y'all this. Don't be drinking on this shit come football season when my motherfucking roll tide run up on your ass. Don't be drinking that haterade. Y'all nigga be drinking that haterade out there. <laughs> but let's see that. Anyway, man, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Cole Tap in, man. I tell you every day, but that dirt is a blessing. No matter what, stop all that stress and salute. I'm out.